Hi everyone, this is Swiss from Geekar and in this video I'm going to show you how to enable API versioning support in your ASP.NET Core applications. So few days ago I wrote this blog on that topic and I know a lot of you guys don't like reading blogs. Uh, that's why this video is for you guys. So like it, dislike it, subscribe uh, and do whatever you like. Uh, here in this blog as you can see I used microsoft.asp.net core.mvc.versioning package to enable API versioning of course in my application and I just want to take you to this github repository to show you this package is actually an open source project and it has support for the legacy web API applications and web API and ODATA applications so Today I'm going to talk about this one right here, ASP.NET Core applications of course. So let me fire up my Visual Studio and as you can see I have already created an bare bone web API application and now I have to install that package from NuGet. So I'm gonna say manage NuGet packages and in the browse tab of course I have to search for it. And here you go let me install it from here I'm gonna say okay then I accept all the license agreements mm, once it is installed let me go to startup.cs file and I have to configure that package as a service here in this configure services method so I'm gonna say services dot add API versioning and I'm pretty much done here let me pick up a controller right here values controller let me say this controller has a support for api versioning to enable that i have to decorate it with an attribute called api version here we go and i have to define a version number let me say it has a support for api version number 1.0 and on the actions scopes uh, let me pick up this action and say this action should respond to this API version number to do that I can say HTTP get uh, you should um, you should respond to this version number that is 1.0 and I'm pretty much done here let me fire this up and show you some features of this versioning techniques um, take a lot of time as usual I guess and once it is fired up you can see you have an error that is saying an API version is required let me pick this up an API version is required but was not specified so I have to pass an API versioning version number from with this URL right so let me show you the first technique of passing an API version that is the query string way so I'm gonna say API version and say please call the API version number 1.0 so as you can see now you don't have any errors Mm, and this is the way of uh, how you pass a version number with the query string or should I say from query string and uh, now let me show you the second technique which is uh, passing the version number in a s URL segment so let me stop this right here and say please pass the version number now like this one let me define a segment here so i'm gonna say uh what is or oh, what should i say here this should be a version number right so this should be version type and then take the version type from api version and i'm pretty much done let me put a slash here and let me fire up it again so now uh, if you try the previous vers version that won't work right now so as you can see if I 
do the query stri string way uh, that won't gonna work now i have to pass the version number as a url segment so I'll go i'm gonna save v1.0 slash then the values right here so here you go uh, the second way of passing the version number uh, and the third way of passing a version number is actually with a media type so let me uh, configure uh, configure it first because there are some configurations to do first for that mm, so let's say api versioning then it should take some options right uh, without any options there's nothing so i'll say um mm, or should i say pass a object right uh, and da, 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 option let me this one is on lambda and this should take an object and here i can set all the options like for instance the option for api version reader so i want to use the media type api version reader for uh, in this case so let's say new media type this should be here media type or should i i have to maybe i have to import some libraries right here right api version then i'll say reader and i'm pretty much done here let me put my mouse on it and media type api version okay this should now yeah resharper is a great tool to work with then i'm gonna say options and dot no i'm pretty much done here let me fire it up once again and show you how to pass the version number with media type query um, so let me fire up my postman right here and copy this url from here let's say but first i have to uh, undo this one right here right so let me do this first and let me fire it up again okay i'm in my running mode uh, this should be running again let me fire up my postman and paste this url here then i'll say in the header that this content type with this content type i should also pass the version number from here so i'll say v1.0 so give it to me and yes i have this one so if i don't specify anything here as you can see i have a error just like i had it before so how to um, overcome with this error right so if i don't specify, specify anything here i don't want any errors i just want to have this is action executed right action method executed so uh, there is a way right uh, let me go to the startup.cs file and then i'm gonna say options dot assume default version when unspecified then i'm gonna configure with a true flag so it will assume the default version number when anything is unspecified here so let me remove it from here right now and let me also remove it for right now because i have only one api version so if i fire it up right now it's gonna say it's gonna work like a charm because i did don't have to pass any version number from here to there with media types but if i do pass any version number uh, it will also work <laughs> so nice right let me add additional version numbers here so let me say this controller support version 1.0 version 2.0 so i'm gonna say api version 
uh, one uh, 1.0 then api version 1.2.0 so this action responds to the by default 1.0 and let me uh, create a new action that passes a let me say i action result mm, okay action result and this should be let's say get with total so first let me copy this up this new string in a variable say var some data is equal to this one right here then say var length say data dot length now let me uh, return a JSON object with this with these data uh, in a in an object anonymous object right so I'm gonna say new then the object notation then I'm gonna say data is equal to data and length L E N or should I say total right total is equal to len gth let me put an equal here and i'm pretty much done here so let me say this response to api version 2.0 so all i have to do again map to api version and say 2.0 okay let me fire it up oh, okay i missed um, miss something i just forget its name okay uh, so once it's running let me go to my postman and let me send a request again so it is getting the result from version one so if i do version two here as you can see i have the total field because uh, as you know in version two i have uh, the total field of course so uh, another feature i should show you uh, that one is let me give the result to my client from my most recent api version number to configure this option you have to define options dot then say uh here you have all the versions right here so i'm gonna use this api version selector where is it api version selector and then say new current oh, variant is not a word for yaj current implementation api version selected so it will send the current implementation of the api version in this case which is of course the version 2.0 but it is giving me an error cause there i should pass the options okay i'm pretty much done so if i fire this up right now and unspecified a version number here it should return me the value uh, of this second get action right with this total field so if i say send as you can see it is here and if i go with v.1.0 then the of course the version on one of that action result right then i'm gonna again say 2.0 and i'm pretty much done so this is very basics on how to configure api versioning on asp.net core application uh, as i already told you before you can learn all about api versioning from this github repository and i'll let you do that but i'm finished here uh, the last um, topic that i want to talk about is uh, which technique i should use so if you are doing api versioning uh, from the start you should go with the second technique which is uh, passing the version number in a segment of the URL 
but if you are if you have already developed many many apis and don't want to break any clients go with the first one or the last one which is media type so i'll prefer the last one which is media type uh, way of passing api version number uh, i think it's a slick version and you have a lot of uh, configuration options so that's it uh, if you know all about um, other stuff of course subscribe my channel or and of course if you like this video like this video dislike dislike and do whatever with this and so let me say bye bye i'll see you in the next video